Hello, tis I, the re, and welcome back to Elevator Hitch. Now, if you remember last time, we uh, learned the the pros of not smoking, um, uh, why we should not wait for other people to solve our problems, and uh, don't approach humid holes. Either way, you know, let's just continue the video. So, shall we? Uh, let's go to floor five. My mouth tastes funny. I feel like you melt just by looking at the pool. You know it starts bleeding. Back of your throat tastes like tinfoil. Spent nuclear fuel container. Nuclear. I I'm not feeling good. I think... We... Should... Radiation. Oh no, my boy turned into a ghoul. Are all the cubicles this small? I wouldn't know. I had an impressive enough first interview to get an office to myself. Would you happen to be related to uh, any of the CEOs? Whoa, how'd you know? Lucky guess. All right, let's see. Computer? A prop computer. Doesn't seem to work. In fact, it seems to be made out of cardboard. Chair? Seems stuck to the floor. I mean, seems stuck to the floor. There are other cubicles, but they're empty and look the same as this one. Office phone. Dial a number? Uh, sure. Click. It immediately hung up. Seems like you dialed the wrong number. Messy cigarette tray covered in ash with burnt cigarettes scattered around it. Pick up the burnt cigarette? Sure. You got a burnt cigarette. What am I going to do with that? Going through someone else's drawers is pretty rude. Open the drawers? Sure thing. Found a job application. Fill out the questionnaire? Uh, sure. What is the strongest attribute to a great employee? Choose from the following answers. Um, ambition is definitely it. You choose the answer A. Question two, what is the second stage of grief? Bargaining, right? No, it's anger. How long to spend nuclear fuel rods remain radioactive? I don't know, 100,000 years? Oh shit, wrong button. Choose one of the following answers. I'm going with two, three. Choose the answer. You put the finished form back in the drawers. Oh, I did a thing. I did a thing. First try. Let's go. You hear something rattling inside. When you open it up again to check what you noticed. I didn't do a thing. I didn't do a thing. The paper tore itself in half. Would it be shallow to look for a cheat sheet of some kind? Nah, we're not cheating. What the hell's wrong with you? Okay, guys, I'm going to do the sacrifice. I'm going to take this test as many times as I can until I finally get it right. So I will catch you in a while. Approximately 10 hours later.
あああああ The form has been replaced with something else. Oh my fucking god. Praise the sun! Okay, um I don't I don't even know anymore what I was doing. I was just doing them as what I could do. Greg, can you put up the answers I put in? I don't remember. I'm I'm tired. I'm so tired. I've been going at this for so long, guys. Oh my god. Watch someone pull up like a uh, comment on this like, "Oh, the answer was actually blah blah blah." If you looked at the blah blah blah, connect uh who's water with the who's water. Uh All right, back to it. The form has been replaced with something else. You received a crumple note. All right, let me write that down. That is a uh, four, two, one, nine, two, three. And that is very obviously the phone. An office phone. Dial number. Like, it immediately hung up. Seems like you dialed the wrong number. Alright, it was my bad. The 4 and the 9 just look the same. You deserve a treat. I'll deliver it to you next time. I'll call and make sure you come pick it up. All right. It's probably next time I visit this floor, so I'll just hop in seven and come right back. Okay. Ooh, the meat locker. Ugh. It smells like roadkill in there. Something's definitely rotting. Well, go on in. Your coworker casually rests his hand inside the wall while waiting for you. Ugh, it's disgusting in here. Could we hurry it up? His hand is now covered in blood. Seems like there's blood coating everything in here. I'm gonna go back to keep being the lookout. You've been a real help. Good luck, buddy. Hey, my suit. I wasn't cheap. He's wiping his hand on my suit. That's what I'm saying. Okay. An animal carcass that looks identical to the body next to it. There's cutting lines drawn around it. Okay, it's the same dialogue. Obviously, we need the same thing to cut the wall to cut the carcass. We are at seven. Let's go to eight. Is that... Ugh. Why do I look like that? Hello, friend. Who are you? This is my colleague. I'm the newest employee here. It's nice meeting some friendly faces. And who would you two be? Avoid the question, introduce yourself. Uh, let's avoid the question for now. What? What do you want to know? Why wouldn't I? It's not every day you meet someone like you. What brings you two here? Are you lost? No, we are perfectly fine. No, I think we can find our way out of here just fine. How about you? Ah, well, we, uh... What the hell are you? Are you okay? Yeah, are you okay, buddy? No, we just... Don't ask us that. Don't pretend like you're gonna be nice. That's not what we did that when when wait, what happened? Sorry, but I can't be sorry for this. Oh Ending eight, stranger danger. Alright, so it's a little 
It's like a little time loop going on there. Okay, let me talk to the other dude. The big one. I forgot these guys. Oh, the phone. Oh, oh, is it a lie though? Sweet looking cake. Take it? Uh, yes. You took the cake. You can probably hide the sleeping pill in the cake. You combine the two. You now have drugged cake. Yippee! I like how he doesn't even like question it. He's just like, oh, cake. I'm gonna drug it. Okay, let's go back to the dudes. Let's go back to the bros, the hoes. Are you okay? Why wouldn't I be? Just, I wanted to check. Do you remember anything strange at all? Hmm, not that I can recall. Why do you ask? It's just, never mind. Make sure to stay safe is all. Ah, yeah, yeah. You know, the trick to negotiations is to crack the weaker one first. When they get desperate enough, then you throw them a bone by acting like you understand them. And you'll hook them up for sure. You sure you don't remember anything? Remember what? Never mind. Weaker one. One of them smiling and the other one looks like a broken shadow of his former self. Can I speak with just him? Uh, uh, yes, go right ahead. Where is this? How did you get here? When did you get here? Yeah, let's ask him the when. We, we, uh... Well, who can say, really? It's been months. The doors haven't budged, the walls go on forever. There's no way out besides the door. They haven't opened since we got here. What? Shut it. You have to let us take your place, please. We have to get out of here. Leave them be, push them further. Um, let's uh, push them further. How long have you been stuck here? I... How long? His, his wristwatch batteries ran out months ago, we don't know. Is that all you have with you? Just then, some scissors were left in here. We got nothing, nobody's come to let us out. If you hand over the scissors and promise not to attack us, you can take our place. Damn. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much. You received the scissors. Sorry. Oh. That's so fucked up. You pressed the close button before they could have had the chance to come inside. My guy. No, no, I'll kill you, I'll kill you, I'll kill you. They're trying their best to force the doors open from the other side. God damn. Wow. Huh? Nothing, I just didn't know you had that in you. I was cold-blooded. They were gonna replace us otherwise, you wouldn't get it. I, I think I do. What? Oh, wrong dialogue. I mean, you didn't just brute force it or play dumb. You really pushed him to his limit and got him to open up before taking what you need. You'd make a great employee here is all I'm saying. Hey, why are you looking at me like that? Oh, I get it. Psh. Well, you think I'm part of this somehow too? Don't you trust me? Honestly, no. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't strike her. See? You got nothing to worry about. You're with, sa You're with the same me as always. Oh. He's he's not real. I mean, what kind of employee would I be if I could be replaced that easily? Oh, what kind of employee could I be if I could be replaced that easily? He's not real. He was never real. He was never here to help. Oh! God. Real. Ah, uh, damn. Um, do I have my scissors still? Okay, I have the scissors, so I don't gotta go through the dialogue. Which means I can open the dinghy! Can I unscrew this? Or do I need a screwdriver? You can use scissors to unscrew things. Whatever. Part of the wall has been sewn up. Cut the wall. Cut the wallpaper? Yes, please. Oh, it gave me that ooey gooey. 
All right, what the hell is this? The entire elevator wall seems to be made up of pulsating masses of flesh. There is an old computer screen squeezed in amongst the lumps. Something must be inserted for it to be booted up. Okay. Okay, next, uh, was it... Okay, here we are. Yeah, that's what I need. Now I can cut open these bad boys. Cut open the carcass? Yes, please. You cut open through the carcass following the dotted line. You found a bag full of rotting organs all squeezed in together. Okay. What about the next one? Oh! Seems like the floor was waiting to replace it with fresh meat. Butchered. Does the sa does the other one do the same thing? Animal carcass. All right, don't kill me. Don't kill me. Oh hell yeah! What's that? A vial? A screwdriver! Take the screwdriver? Yes, please. You took the screwdriver. Sorry, I got lazy. I didn't feel like reading that. A vent. It's screwed in tight. You can hear something scratchy on the inside. Unscrew the vent with the screwdriver? Yes. All right, there we go. You pulled open the vent after the vent shaft. What's in here? There's a rat scuttling around the vent. Nasty. It squeaks at you. Ah, what is that? How did that get in here? Close the vent, close the vent. Take the rat, yes. You got the rat. You're touching it? Why are you holding it? Put that back. What's wrong with it? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with it? It's gross, it's a wild animal. It's gonna bite you. It's gonna bite me. Oh. <laughs> You're doing that on purpose. <laughs> I love these guys. They have a great chemistry. Is there anything behind me? No. Okay. What do I do with the creature? A few moments later. Hole in the wall. Put the rat in? Yes. The rat starts trembling. It squirms desperately and tries to escape your grip. Force the rat in? It's not really forcing it in if it doesn't put up a fight. <laughs> it's not going to be much of a fight. You put your hand in the hole and let the rat go. You hear a low whisper coming from the hole. Raise. Okay. We got a word. Let's go to floor nine. Button doesn't work. Uh, what do we got? We got burnt cigarette, crumpled note, drugged cake, scissors, screwdriver. Oh, oh, drug cake. Maybe we can put it in the mouth. Didn't even get a chance to see what was inside, or what killed me for that matter. And now we can. You can feel a warm breeze on your face. It's coming from the front. Step in? No, that, that's what killed us last time.
Make sure to keep that scissors to yourself. That stuff can be real dangerous. Right. Damn. He knows. Alright, guys. That's going to do it for this episode of Elevator Hitch. I hope you enjoyed all that. And judging by how long they expect the game to be, I think we'll finish it in the next episode. So, thank you so much for watching. This has been Elevator Hitch. And I will catch you next time. Bye bye. Hold on, hold on.